When most of us sit and think of classic sports cars, our minds tend to think of classic American V8s and European sports cars, but Japan also made some great cars back in the day. Now they might not be as popular as their American and European counterparts, but they are still damn good and they played an important role in the history of sports cars. Japanese sports cars proved to be fast, good looking and reliable vehicles. They were well priced and delivered some serious performance. So today we are going to forget about the American and European classics. Let's focus on some of the greatest and most desirable JDM classics of all time. Let's start this list off with a fair lady, the 240Z. Now the original Datsun 240Z was the first high volume affordable sports car to come out of Japan. They were really affordable and quite fast, powered by a 2.4 litre inline 4 that produced around 150 horsepower. Which doesn't sound like much these days, but trust me, it's plenty since the car only weighed 1050 kilograms. 60 was reached in 8 seconds and she would go up to a top speed of 202 kilometers per hour. The 240Z is a spectacular example of an old school Nissan Z car. With its long nose, sport pack, this is quite simply one of the coolest cars money can buy. Moving from a Nissan to a Mazda, and this is the one that launched the now loved and hated Wankel rotary engine. Now this is a really small motor that produces some decent power. The Cosmo was powered by a 1 litre rotary that made a whopping 130 horsepower. I know I sound sarcastic, but 130 horsepower out of a 1 litre. It shows you the power benefits of using a rotary power plant. The final generation of the Cosmo served as Mazda's flagship vehicle in Japan, being sold as the Ionos Cosmo through its luxury division in Japan. These cars are extremely rare and a good example can fetch well over $250,000. Now earlier in this video I said the 240Z is one of the coolest cars money can buy. Well the car we are going to talk about now is even cooler. This is Heiko Suka or translated to English the boxy skyline. The 2000 GTR is the granddad of one of my ultimate dream cars, Godzilla, the R32 GTR. Now this car had it all, rarity with only 1945 ever being built, speed, powered by a straight 6 that produced 160 horsepower. Now this car was so fast in fact it proved its supremacy by winning 50 races straight in Japan's touring car championships. This car also just looks great, I mean nobody can deny that this car just oozes cool. If Fast and Furious was a thing back in the 70s, this would be one of the Euro cars. All in all, this is a true bucket list car for me. Ok, so moving on, now the car we are going to talk about now is widely regarded as being the greatest Japanese car ever built. The engine was developed in partnership with Yamaha and the 2 litre made 150 horsepower. This is the 2000 GT. Now the 2000 GT revolutionized the automotive world's view of Japan. This car proved to the world that Japan could do more than just make cheap reliable cars. This showed them they had the ability to create sleek high performance sports cars. This car was so good in fact. In 1967 Road and Track magazine summed up the car as one of the most exciting and enjoyable cars they have ever driven. And they even compared it favorably to a 911 of that time. Now only 351 of these cars were ever produced. That combined with the title of Japan's greatest car ever built means that one of these sell for over a million dollars. And now for the last car on the list, the Toyota Celica 2000 GT Liftback. Got a long name but it's a cool car or as they called it after it got exported to America, the Japanese Mustang. And if I'm honest, I can see the resemblance. Now stock, this isn't the prettiest car, but if you spend a little and change a few small things like wheels, paint and refresh all the chrome, this thing can be beautiful. She is powered by a 100 horsepower 2.2 litre inline 4 and the power got sent to the rear wheels via a 5 speed manual. This is a list of cars that excite me, like every car on this list is so damn cool to me. I think I'm more of a JDM boy than an American muscle fan. Let me know what, what do you prefer, do you like the European old sports cars like the old 911s and that or do you prefer the old big Mustangs like the 302 Boss and that or are you like me, you, you like the, the smaller 
decent power JDM classics. Let me know down below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you did enjoy the video, go through my channel. I've got many more videos just like this one. So yeah, I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?